Tedeki, this is Monit Khanna and welcome to Tech Bazooka. Today we're gonna have a quick hands-on on the new Desire A20S, which is a smaller drop-down version of the A20. So when you actually have a look at the overall look and feel of the phone, it is very much similar to the, the original Desire A20. Uh, what changes is the software and the features under the under the hood. So we have a 1.7 GHz MediaTek Octa-Core processor with 2 GB of RAM. The display remains the same. It's a 720p, 720p 5.5 inches display which is pretty beautiful. So what we really liked about this phone was the fact that it supports 4G and the overall look of the phone has not been changed which we really admired. And the phone is pretty lightweight, it is not on the very heavier side. The phone looks premium, it feels premium although it has a polycarbonate body and it is, has a non removable back panel. Yet the phone is pretty beautiful. It has a two, it's a dual SIM phone and it has dual standby as well. It has a micro SD card slot which can support up to 128 GB of memory. Not to forget the phone also boasts a 16 GB internal memory which is actually really nice for loading up all heavy games and applications which take up a lot of internal memory space. The phone is pretty fast, nippy and the mirror octa processor does perform considerably well. Uh, we do uh, see a certain amount of lag but that is okay but natural, it's not a big deal. So now coming to the camera, the rear has a 13 megapixel camera with full HD video recording and the front has an 8 megapixel camera which is not wide angle but it can take some serious selfies. Both cameras can do full HD video recording and both are considerably decent. Uh, nothing too much expected from this side but they did perform well. So as I said earlier that the phone is powered by a 64 bit 1.7 GHz media octa core processor and it also has 2 GB of RAM. Gaming on the phone is pretty subtle and it performs considerably well. We've tried asphalt date on the phone and it performs brilliantly. So now coming over to the multimedia front, the phone has this HTC Boom Sound stereo speakers which of course offer great audio experience. At the same time, what's the best part about the MediaTek octa processor is that it, they have this unique true motion video playback. Whereas you get this free flowing video which, ha which actually plays on a very high frame rate. So what you get in this phone is a very great, rich, great and rich multimedia experience. If you load up any movie or any video, you'll actually find the whole difference when you compare this to any normal phone. And you'll really enjoy watching videos and movies on this. Now coming to the battery front on this phone, it has a 2600 mAh battery which is okay not very good as we can see it has a 5.5 inches display which can which will suck up a lot of battery but yet it, it uh, gives us a whole day of battery life with normal usage which is somewhat fine for most of the users so now coming to the verdict of this phone and this time we'll make it simple so when you actually have a look at the phone Desire A20s in comparison to the original Desire A20 I would still stick with the Desire A20 no matter the fact being A20s is a bit cheaper and there is a MediaTek processor, I would still stick with the Snapdragon because Snapdragon can offer you that small refinement and performance when compared to the MediaTek. Subscribe to your YouTube channel. If you like this video, give a like. If you dislike the video, give a dislike. And leave your comments to get, improve, help us improve in our reviews. Thank you and have a great day ahead. Goodbye.